What's a delicious poor man's meal? Okay as a Russian I am telling you potato is the best food there is, it's cheap, you can cook it multiple different ways so you will not get tired of it, also it won't get bad easily, get rotten, my ancestors survived cold winters and wars just by eating potatoes, you can slice it into thin slices and fry it or just boil it with hot water or oven it, barbecue it literally everything. I make hobo dinner when I go camping. Ground beef, onions, carrots, potatoes, and a bit of garlic. Wrap it in tinfoil, I prefer the non-stick kind, and throw it on some coals in your campfire. My friends who have never camped with me are always impressed. Baked potato with cheese and broccoli on top. Buy a pound of baking potatoes, a block of cheese, and frozen bag of broccoli. It'll make you at least three to six of those. If you're feeling really crazy, then throw in some chili too. Canned chili for hot dogs works best. It can be as cheap as like, 0 0.50 cents. I came here to say baked potato I grew up so broke, we had potatoes at least once a day. There are so many ways to make potatoes. Potato cakes were a staple, just mashed potatoes mixed with flour and an egg to bind it, fry that up in some oil. Horrible for you, I'm sure, but it's delicious. Sometimes Little Caesars throws pizzas in the dumpster outside after close. When I was homeless, I dated the night manager at McDonald's. I got a sack of dumpster-bound burgers big enough to feed me for the next 24 hours, and all it cost was having sex with someone I was already having sex with. Edit, okay, lots of questions, so I will address them here. When I was 19, I lived in my car for a while. I was not crazy or strung out, and it was a brief thing. I was attending community college, so meeting and dating was not a big deal. I loaded trucks in the early morning for cash, went to school, changed and showered at the gym, and did laundry at my buddies. After about a month, I had saved enough to get a shared apartment. It was actually pretty fun. Also, it was the early 80s and things were more relaxed then. Buttered toast with cinnamon and sugar. Spaghetti with oil and garlic. Quick. Easy. Cheap. White bread garlic toast. This was a main staple when I was growing up. Less because we were broke and more because nobody knew how to cook lol. Buttered noodles. Fried eggs and toast. I love a scrambled egg sandwich even better than a hamburger. Ever had an egg on a burger? Yes with fries inside too, fucking ecstasy. Kanji. Add rice and lots of water to a pot. Can keep it plain or sprinkle some chicken bouillon powder and fresh ginger slices. Cook until it reaches creamy porridge consistency. Top your bowl with scallions. I make this when I'm feeling sick since it's easy on the stomach. I was a single mom in university. To stretch my budget, I made homemade soups. Every day for years I had homemade soup for lunch and sometimes for dinner too. Do you have any tips for making your own soup? Homemade stock, bones, water, apple cider vinegar and salt. I just learned this one a year ago and the ACV is key. Google stock with ACV and you can get the right proportions. Dried beans are cheaper and better than canned. Check out the video Carlo Make Beans on YouTube. I do a lot of the tedious work ahead of time. I will peel and freeze garlic cloves. I find they are easier to slice than when they are frozen. I also will cook and freeze other veggies I plan on using so I can stock up when things are on sale. For recipes, my favorite site is allrecipes.com. Stir fry. Chicken and rice and tears. So many tears. Instead of soy sauce. Lower sodium. Poor dessert, flour tortilla with butter, cinnamon, and sugar. Ramen, drained with no broth, 
with poor man's pad thai sauce. Mix a tablespoon of peanut butter into a small ramekin with enough soy sauce and sriracha to be able to thoroughly mix it into a smooth sauce. Dump over the cooked ramen, and baby, you've got a stew going. It tastes good, it's got a bit of protein, bit of fat, bit of carbs, little sweet, little heat. It's not the greatest nutrition you could eat but it's way better for you than Oreos and if you want to clean up the macros a little you can sub PB2 for the peanut butter and coconut aminos for the soy, and that'll cut the fat and sodium at least in half. And it's vegan, if you care at all. Serious answer here, get a can of black beans and some cheap salsa. Put the drained beans and some salsa in a skillet and let it cook for like 10 minutes. Crack a couple eggs and let them poach in the beans. Serve with cheap bread or tortillas. All very cheap ingredients, and it's super high in protein so it's filling and healthy. You can also saute in any veggies you have sitting around or put in whatever spices you have lying around. Edit, a couple of people are mentioning shakshika that's where I got the inspo from for this dish. My boyfriend doesn't lyle tomatoes but we love Tex-Mex flavors so I made up this altered version for us. Pancakes. My grandma grew up during the depression. She said her mother served pancakes for dinner so often she got sick of them, and when she left the house she never ever made pancakes. Macaroni and cheese. With cut up hot dogs in it. Settle down, Mr. Rockefeller. Grilled cheese sandwich. EDA, y'all are making some fancy ass sandwiches and don't get me wrong I'm not mad about it. But a cheap ass grilled cheese made with stale white wonder bread, I can't believe it's not butter and some craft singles holds a special place for me. Straight up peanut butter. Don't say you've never filled up that way. Can be a great survival food too. Take a jar of peanut butter. Throw in some nuts and raisins and toss it in a backpack and you have a delicious, high-carb, high-protein, high-energy snack that can keep you going for days in a tough situation. Walk-in tacos. Basically you get a snack size bag of your favorite chips and fill it up with taco meat, lettuce, tomatoes, sour cream, and stuff like that. Now you have walk-in tacos. Sleep. Edit. Yo. Thank you guys for all of the awards. I've had to sleep through dinner and breakfast many times. Hope all of you who are currently in that situation will have better days, they're coming, trust me. Thank <laughs> you.